Hello, my beautiful viewers on my channel, James Ingers. Welcome, welcome. What I've got for you now is a DVD review. It's Gavin and Stacey, a Christmas special from 2019. There you go. Yeah, what you get. That's a cover. Uh, what you get inside. Uh, well, this was before... Uh, this was last Christmas before the pandemic. So, uh, uh, it's from obviously it's uh, a Christmas special in the Gavin and Stacey TV service. Uh, it was, it was this spoiler alert, spoiler alert. So, this is uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, it leaves a cliffhanger at the end where Smithy and Nessa, Nessa uh, asks Smithy to uh, marry him. To marry her. So, that's a cliffhanger. There are rumours there's going to be another one. Uh, uh, well, let's hope there is. I, I would love to see a season four, to be honest with you. I think it's a, a fantastic uh, series. What it's got in the box is a total joy. You'll laugh, you'll cry. Boyd Hilton News, uh, it's exquisite. There's been no finer writing on screen this year. Right. Uh, <laughs> I'll read what it says at the back. It's been 10 years since we spent Christmas with the Shipmans and the Wests. Last time it was uh, Billy Ricky, but the deal has always been to alternate. And this year we're heading to Barry, where Uncle Bryn's cooking dinner for over 13 people. Uh, understandably, he's uh, tense. Pam would secretly prefer to spend Christmas in Essex as she finds uh, Gwen's house a bit... Lacking, but as long as she gets to be a adulting grandparent along with uh, Mick and uh, Gwen, it doesn't really matter where they eat their turkey. Gavin and Stacey's baby is now nine, and for them, parenthood can sometimes be a challenge. Smithy, a committed dad to 12 year old Neil, the baby makes a journey to Barry at weekends and every second Wednesday, whilst Nessa. Adopts her own brand of Nessa's style mothering on uh, again. And a visit to the pub that night is an eye opening in more ways than one. So sit back and enjoy a welcome festive return to the award winning world of Gavin and Stacey. Right, that is a classic. That's a classic. Uh, Mass out of 10, it's a 7 out of 10 here on, here on my channel, James Higgins Open World. Uh, there's one little bit of co controversy in it. Uh, Nessa and uh, Bryn sing the, the Pogues and Kirsty McCall's classic, A Fairy Tale of New York, uh, where they sing all the lyrics. Because there's the whole lyrics are on this DVD. Uh, but if you watch on Britbox now, uh, the fairy tale of New York's lyrics have been slightly altered, uh, and what have you. Uh, but this is the full version uh, of it with the with the, with the fairy tale of New York's full lyrics. Uh, to me, fairy tale of New York is a classic Christmas song, uh, and it's of its day. Uh, the lyrics, it, it was of its day. Uh, <coughs> what have you? It was in the. Uh, I think it came out in the late eighties, and that's just how people. That's how just how people spoke and were. I mean, some people today, uh, the millennials, as you call them, uh, reckon that one of this country's greatest uh, comedies, "Only Fools and Horses," is racist, which it isn't. It's total nonsense. It's a classic, you know. That's just how people spoke back then, you know. Uh, but times change, don't they? But uh, I'm just glad. I've got the 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 version that's got the full lyrics of Fairy Tale of New York on it, so I'm kind of bought that. Because uh, uh, I mean, the next time, I mean, I do wonder if uh, future releases of this DVD will be the edited version of Fairy Tale of New York. You know, a lot of controversy of it, but I think it's one of the greatest Christmas songs ever. To be honest with you, I really do. It's just a, a classic, absolute classic fairy tale of New York.
The video's great. Uh, the documentary on about the classic song fairy tale in New York's great as well. So, so uh, if, if you're a Gavin and Stacey fan, uh, and you and you want the uncut lyrics to Fairy Tale of New York, I'd buy yourself a copy of this now, just in case, just in case the uh, bring out a version where the the lyrics are edited slightly. I mean, it doesn't take too much off the song, but the uh, really, but you know, it was of its day. That's all I can say. It was a different world. I mean, I'm fifty two. It's a different world in my day. You know, I left school in eighty four. It's a different world. Twenty odd year olds and thirty odd year olds don't really realise how different it was. You really don't. They've got no clue. You know, I mean, when I was growing up, there was no internet, no mobile phones. No social media. There's only three channels on TV. You know, uh, I can still remember black and white TV. I remember the first colour TV. I mean, kids have no clue what it was like. There was no consoles like we've got now and all the rest of it. You know, none of that. It's a different era. Different era. But get yourself a copy of that. That's what I say. Anyway, if you like this review, please subscribe. What's down there. Thank you very much.